have a very set notion of what writing is. And that was the biggest problem, even though I had a room full of art and design students in my Rep 105 this semester, I had a room full of art and design students ready to come write. <laughs> you know, they, they weren't, this, this whole idea of, of the image as writing just like threw them for a loop. And, and they just couldn't get, they couldn't get past that disciplinary boundary. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's not only our colleagues that we sometimes have to acknowledge that we're going to have problems with. It's like one of the articles I really like um, out of that, uh, what is it, Computers and Composition 18 that Carol Handa guest edited. Uh -huh. um, you know, Sean Williams talks about how well and how thoroughly we teach our students to think inside this box of what it's text. Mm -hmm. And that one of the biggest challenges is trying to talk about digital literacy, digital rhetoric, any of these things, yeah. is we're telling them that they have to come out of the box now. Yeah. And Gunther Crest talks about this too, where you know we've spent 12 years now mm -hmm. indoctrinating these students. Yeah. Needing the creativity out of them. The yes. But you know what? It was fine to finger paint when you were in kindergarten. But in order to get the same message across in, mm -hmm. in your senior year in high school, you have to be able to write, unfortunately, sometimes a five paragraph essay is what's beaten into them. But there's a box. And, that, and they have in their mind also that conception of, I'm taking a writing class, this is what I'm going to do. You so know? you can have even graphic design students who have spent time in their lives. You know, the reason they're in that field is because obviously they have skills. You know, they have a natural bent a lot of times, which takes them to perspectives that are more visual. We'll still think, you know, when they go to text, they don't, they oh, don't think exactly. about the text visually. They do that thinking, <laughs> looking through thing. You know, when they, they know that when they go to text, they're supposed to be looking through, they're supposed to drop all that stuff and come over here, which is why a lot of them don't like it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, the most like jaw-dropping point I had in that class was when I had, I mean, granted, I had some other students that weren't art and design, but I had like, out of 15 students, I had like 10 art and design students. And I had a student who I know is from art and design because he went through the whole get my portfolio thing ready for the whole show, right? He says to me, I don't understand why we caught tech kept I don't understand why we keep talking about images in this class. I'm here to learn how to write. Why do we keep talking about images? <laughs> you know, and then another girl who was also art and design just kinda of looked at him like but because we're in this specific class, doesn't it say that we're all intending to do something with images? So doesn't that make it important for us to learn how to write with images? And, th and they went, they had this exchange for like 10 minutes where they kept going back and forth about these definitions of read and write. You know, and, and you can't read an image. You can't write an image. You create an image. <laughs>